where it is given that the projection of vector A on vector B is. So let's see how to find out the projection of a vector A vector on another vector taken as B vector, let's say angle between them is nothing but theta. So we can find out the component of A along the direction of B is nothing but A cos theta. Now this A cos theta vector is known as projection and its magnitude is nothing but A cos theta which is known as nothing but component. So according to the given option they are just given the uh, magnitude of that so we can find out the component of A along the direction of B which is equal to A cos theta. Now let's see how to find out the value of this A cos theta from the equation A dot B is equal to A B cos theta. Now RM is to find out the value of A cos theta. So this A cos theta can be written as nothing but A vector dot B vector divided B. So we can write uh, this is equal to, so we need to uh, find out the value of A dot B first. So let's see what is the dot product of these two vectors. Uh, one vector is nothing but this and the other vector is our B vector and RM is to find out the dot product of these two vectors. So if you are going to find out the dot product of these two vectors, A vector and B vector, so you can write this as uh, basically 1 into 4 which is equal to nothing but uh, 4 and the other component is minus 2 into minus 4 that is nothing but 8 next one is uh, 1 into 7 which is equal to 7. So we can write uh, this is a dot b is equal to 19. Now one more information that we require is nothing but the magnitude of this vector b vector. Let's see what is the magnitude of this vector. Magnitude of this vector is nothing but under root of its x component square that is 16 plus 4 square that is 16 plus 7 square that is 49. We know that uh, this is equal to uh, root of 81 that is equal to 9. Now we can just substitute this value over here. That is a dot b is nothing but 19 divided by b is nothing but 9. 